Whoa! Careful! Coming through! Is that a roller coaster? Your dad bought it. He said it was a uh, steel. He claimed steel was just an expression, but I'm concerned. How was your game? Did you, uh, pass any good fumbles? Grimlock, you have a lot to learn about football. I've been waiting for you to teach me. Is there any punching? No punching. Okay, strong arm and side swiper on defense. Grim and I will be on offense. The offense tries to move the ball this way. See? And the defense tries to stop them. Grim, you pass the ball over the defense to me. Okay? Ready, hike. trying to set off our security system. We should grab them. That's what I think. No, Brother Clampdown. Not with the Autobots so close by. Yeah, you little crab rat. Just clamp your mouth shut. Hey! <coughs> this has been very illuminating, but there's one more thing I need to... Ah. <sighs> I'm sensing a little hostility here, you know? <laughs> I only hopped over here to see if I could join the team. <laughs> Congratulations, you're on the team. This is your first mission. Ain't we going to disable his track and signal, Steel Jaw? If we did, kickback wouldn't make very good bait. Now would he? my touchdown dance. Did you like the move? Like is a very strong word. Well, the Autobots make it look so easy. Moving tons of metal like that. It is easy. If you're three stories tall and can crush train cars in your bare hands. We must seem like insignificant little bugs to them. We give them a safe place to stay and help them stay hidden. That's important stuff. Still a few beams to bring in, Denny, but we're just about done. Lieutenant Bumblebee, I'm picking up a Decepticon signal. Sensors show it's in the forested area just east of here. B, do you have another team we don't know about running around catching Decepticons? Fix it. Who are we looking at? Kickback, sir. He's a professional Decepticon lackey. He's worked with almost every criminal on Cybertron, it seems. <laughs> I don't suppose you bots could use a sidekick. No, we already have Sideswipe. Hey! Uh, then how about a different kind of sidekick? <laughs> <laughs> Officer Butter Digits. Let's hop along after him before he gets too far. Wait, something's wrong here. Clearly this Decepticon was meant to distract us. From what? Fix it. Fix it, do you read? Scrap, come on. Whoa, great hands. Strange, the Decepticon is traveling away at a rapid pace. Uh, Bumblebee, status, please. The comm systems, they've been jammed. Who could have... This is impolite. Imposter. Impossible. The gate is open and perimeter security is down. We'd better check this out. No, don't. We may already be... Well, well. A welcoming committee. How very kind. Hey, hey watch Let it! Let go! Fracture, perhaps one of your little friends can relieve the Minicon of his duties for a while. I, 
beg your pardon? Not to worry, just upgrading your security system. With the limited materials on Earth? <laughs> Look, there is nothing you could possibly do to upgrade... Oh, but you're wrong. Or are you not aware of my previous crimes? Bring up my dossier, Air Razor. This should be fun. Oh, I'm well aware of your reputation. Jailed for instigating rebellion, knowledge of subsonics, but... Subsonics, precisely. Your security system can easily be rewired to emit sonic pulses that don't affect bots outfitted with the special chips I cobbled together for my friends and me, but aren't nearly as kind to standard auto and dino bots, as B and his team will soon discover. Sorry, Autobots. You ain't on the guest list. You have that backward underbite. Yeah? Why don't you come over here and tell Thunder Cruncher and Bolt Smasher all about it? Ah! Ah! You like the tone of our new doorbell, Bumblebee? Denny! Russell! You guys don't! Yeah! Autobots, turn off your audio receptors. No! No! no good. It must affect all our systems, not just auditory. I would have modified the defense field subsonics to destroy you, but the power source was too limited. It's okay, B. We're fine. Let them go, Steeljaw. Better yet, let's discuss my team's demands. <gasps> Throw us your weapons. Bumblebee, don't! Thunderhoof, bring them here. Go here, do that. I was a boss on Cybertron. This isn't Cybertron. <sighs> Fine, just leave them here. There is no way for you and your motley crew to retrieve them through the sonic field. I'll uh, find a way, Steeljaw. <laughs> you can try, but I would advise you all to flee instead, because soon you'll be far outnumbered and torn into spare parts. Far outnumbered? I'm no math genius, but don't we have as many bodies as he does? Not if he releases all the Decepticons from their stasis pods. He would no longer have a pack, but an army. Enough force to turn Earth into a Decepticon homeland. With Steeljaw as its leader. Clamp down. Open these pods and set our Decepticon brethren free. Wait, 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 wait! Uh, the pods can only be unlocked from the command console, or, 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 or they explode. He's lying. I can smell it. Then you'll open the pods. <laughs> sure, I'd, I'd be happy to. We don't have a chance. Not with all these enormous robo crooks waiting to stomp us at any moment. I'm not so sure, Dad. <sighs> what is the delay, Minicon? <laughs> I can never remember my password. I suggest you improve your memory, Minicon, or I will take your failure out on the humans. Uh, Thunderhoof, clamp down! Locate the prisoners now! Now! Hey! What gives? We're on the same side! Just like we were on the same side when you read me out to the Autobots. Just stay out of my way.
Let's take these two down, Dad. If by take them down, you mean surrender before they smush us, I'll consider it. We have the scrapyard, and no one knows it better than we do. It's time to switch from defense to offense. <sighs> no go. The sonic field extends into the ground at least 50 feet. Found that out the hard way. So we can't go under. What now? We will require a very tall ladder. smaller one. Somebody let him slip through their claws. Me? I'm the bottom who actually caught a human. <laughs> Minicon, open the stasis pods now, or I make a painful example of this one. One, two. All set. Here we go. Are you all right? Where's Denny? Seal Jaws pack has him. You have to help. We can't even get close. We tried to go under and over the sonic field, but couldn't get low or high enough. Steel Jaw re-rigged the security console in the command center. I, I can't get to it with Fracture's Minicon standing guard. Based out of the command center, huh? What else do you know about the security system? Just that it's set to repel both Autobots and Dinobots. But not Minicons? Steel Jaw didn't say. Strong arm, sideswipe, and grim. Take up positions around the scrapyard perimeter and make as much noise as you can. In the meantime, you and I have some constructing to do. Are the Sonics down? <laughs> Fat out! Why did they stop? A pod must achieve equilibrium with the atmosphere before fully opening. You don't want non-functioning Decepticons, do you? Do you want a non-functioning human? Accelerate the process and open the pods right now! <laughs> Ready? I am ready. Mm. 
much better. <laughs> Just missed. I shall bring honor to our team and our mission. Drift. Then it is fortunate I am not alone. Dad! Over here! You're too late, Lieutenant. do this before, but it's Cybertronian technology. I, I, I'm just a human. Who outsmarted two giant alien robots? Maybe it needs a more earthly approach. Looks like your army's deserted you, Steeljaw. I will give the Decepticons their own world. This world. And I shall rule them. Not today you won't, Steeljaw. Go. Go. Go! We should pursue them. No. Our first priority is securing our prisoners by resetting the scrapyard's defenses. Steeljaw can wait. Russell, Denny, if it weren't for you, we'd have had our drive modules handed to us on a plate. Please. My son and I are just your average, everyday humans. Who transcend their physical limits and go to any lengths to secretly protect their planet. Incompetence. Get away from me. Get out! Steel job. Call not to your allies. I speak to you, and you alone. Who are you? I am the first Decepticon. I was responsible for the Optimus crash, and thus, your freedom. 
I freed you and your pack to serve me. You? The pack obeys my orders. You are to repair my gateway. I will provide you with instructions shortly. I will not take orders from you. You will obey. Just because I'm in a different dimension does not mean I cannot hurt you. Play all the tricks you like. I do not scare. And soon I will have a legion of Decepticons. No bot will interfere with my plans to rule this planet. I appreciate your ambition, Steeljaw. Truly, I do. Prepare my way, and I shall give you this world. Hmm. Agreed. For now.